It's January 1st, 2021. Rather than having a New Year's resolution, we must have a New Year's revolution. And we see that our legal system has grown more than just corrupt. It is rotten to the core. And it's just the latest example. My alma mater, my once proud alma mater, the U.S. Department of Justice, has now effectively opposed its own president, Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the head of the Department of Justice. He's the head of the executive branch. All this nonsense about independence, it doesn't exist. Now, maybe we need to revise the way things work in terms of having a Justice Department that works under the arm of the president, but that's the way it is today. And this Justice Department, after a lawsuit was brought by Representative Louis Gomer of Texas, he's seeking a declaratory judgment that Vice President Pence, when the electors are presented to the U.S. Senate, has the right to refuse to accept Biden's electors in the four states where there was obviously massive fraud, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Wisconsin. The Justice Department is actually supporting Vice President Pence, who's now going against the president and going to basically deep six any chance the president would have to have the Senate and the Congress declare him president of the United States, the 46th, going forward for four years. Now, that was a long shot anyway. And that's why I've suggested various means, and it takes a revolution, forget the scandal industry. President Trump is not a political messiah. Even if he remains president, which I would say the chances are less than even 1% at this point, given everyone that stabbed him in the back, we the people must now carry on on our own. And that's our New Year's resolution. That is our New Year's revolution. And that's why I want you to go out and get my book this New Year's on Amazon.com. I don't have the luxury of being Sean Hannity or being some other host on Fox News that promotes my own book and it becomes a New York Times bestseller in literally milliseconds. I don't care whether I'm a New York Times bestseller. I just want people to read it. I want them to understand, based on my 43 years of being a lawyer, the most corrupt profession in the United States and the world. That's why Shakespeare said, let's kill all the lawyers. And he also would have said, if he thought of it, let's kill all the judges, too. He meant that figuratively, not actually, and I don't want anybody killed. But that's the reality. And that's why you need to really get the facts of life. You're not going to get that on Fox News. You're not going to get that on Newsmax, which is you know, owned and operated by Chris Ruddy, who gave a million dollars to the Clinton Foundation. You've got to listen to Radio America, you know, people like me and other hosts. You've got to listen to talk radio generally. You've got to go out on the Internet. You've got to get the facts for yourself. But once you get the facts, you have to rise up and you have to become a revolutionary to save this country. So that should be your New Year's resolution, your New Year's revolution. Is it play a role? Join Freedom Watch's Justice League. You can go to freedomwatchusa.org. Join our citizens' cl class actions against the communist Chinese for destroying this country, health-wise, financially, and emotionally. And it's getting worse. Rise up like we did in 1776. Risk your lives, your fortunes. Pledge your sacred honor. We need to form, frankly, a new government by and for the people. And I have ideas on that. And I've talked about it in my podcast. Sometime next spring, we're going to have a third Continental Congress. And we're going to form our own government because this government no longer represents us. And that's our God-given right. You can see it right in the first few lines of the Declaration of Independence. So I leave you with this hope today, January 1st, 2021. Times look bleak, but we can prevail and we will prevail if we, the American people, hang together, as Benjamin Franklin said in my native city of Philadelphia, or separately, we will hang. And with the prospect of the evil and criminal Biden and Kamala Harris on the horizon, taking over this country in a radical leftist coup d'etat based on a fraudulent election, we, the people, have no choice. If you want to save this country for yourselves, for your children and your grandchildren, to rise up. So go out and read what I have to say. Listen to my podcast daily at RadioAmerica.com. You can find them at FreedomWatchUSA.org and my weekly radio show this week, broadcast on the weekend, 
I have Sheriff Joe Arpaio, a true American hero that has risked and will risk everything for the people of the United States and the vision and creation of our founding fathers. That's my message for today. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, not because things are good, things are bad. Cherish your family, protect your family. But we're in a crisis, our backs are up against a wall. And if we help ourselves, God will be with us, God and his son. And that's my message. I'll see you Monday with a new podcast. Until then, thank you for listening to me. I enroll because going to the doctor shouldn't be a difficult choice. Whatever your reason for needing health insurance, Nevada HealthLink is here for you. Enroll November 1st through January 15th at NevadaHealthLink.com.